Hello YouTube, um, how are you? Today I'm back with another video on Mastercam tip that how we can machine the lag chamfer with small diameter chamfer tool. Uh, and this topic I had made uh, another video on in the past, and uh, at that time I used the 2D contour tool and pad with tap. Uh, wall option and today uh, with the same topic but I will use another way which you can uh, uh, make this faster and uh, do not require calculation that will uh, easier more easy more easy for you alright and okay first I will turn on the coordinate system and by press F9 Okay, and I will uh, create a sample park, draw a rectangular. Okay, assemble three inches by three inches. Okay, and this I use a solid I choose to create a Rectangular block like this, and the distance E two inches. Okay, and in this edge, I will create a chamber, solid chamber, one distance. Click on this edge, I will select. All right, for example, uh, boy seventy five. Okay, and solid chamber. I will create a smaller, for example, 0.5. And on this place, I will create another chamber with. Uh, okay, a large, for example, one inch chamber. Okay, and on this face, I will create a, a distance and angle chamber. Alright, select the edge. Oh, sorry. Okay. Chamber, distance and angle. I press select the edge. Oh, what's up? All right, you can see here this distance one and forty five, so I can create. A, uh, so I will uh, three for example thirty degree, uh, sixty degree, like this. Oh, I need just uh, thirty. Okay. And set the degree here. Okay. So here's our park. You can see we have uh, four chamfering face. That's quite large. And uh, in case that you just uh, have uh, a quarter inch uh, chamfering tool, so how uh, you can machine this large area. Ah. Uh, you make you can use the bore and mill, but the all bore and mill uh, require a lot of time of cutting, and uh, it will not provide a good surface finish if you don't use the small step over. So, if you want to save time, you can use the chamfering tool to machine the uh, chamfer area. I will show you a quick way to do that. That uh, you can use the Mastercam 3D tool pad, the surface finish tool pad here. You can use uh, some uh, parallel tool pad, uh, such as parallel or flow line or contour, anything you want. But I suggest you can use the flow line tool pad to do the job. Flow line, it, uh, you will get a, a good reserve. So, okay. At first, I will select a tool, for example. I go to the 
toolpath and tool manager and select a, a chamfering tool for example you uh, only have the uh, uh, one a quarter a quarter chamfering mill okay you can see this large chamfer you 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 can use the contour wood tapper option but that uh, needs some calculation okay to do that you can go to the tool pad here surface finish and click on the flow line tool pad okay give it a name large chamfer okay and mastercam we ask you to select the dry surface so with this uh, 45 degree chamfering tool i will select one through and three face chamfer face here i uh, i'm gonna click on the activate solid selection button and change it to the select face do not select body just select face only and i click on this face uh, this and this phase so we had we have uh, three phases need to do the chamber okay and click enter and you click on the flow line button to select the flow line you can cut from the bottom or uh, from the top for example I want to cut from the top I will oh, sorry we you click on the step direction so you can see we can cut from the top in this case, for example, we have already machine uh, rough machine the chamfering face, so I will use the chamfering tool to do the finish operation. The the cham the uh, rough operation has removed all the material, just left uh, a little bit of material for the chamfering tool to uh, do the finish. Okay. After you select the cut direction and step direction. Okay, I want to make sure this is the clamp milling, so I will change the direction here. So to make sure I got the clamp milling. All right. Okay. So I select the quarters chamfer mill. You can put the speed and feed rate and retract plan, feed plan. Okay, and stock three on drive. You can input zero okay and you go to the I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the finish flow like parameter so in the distance here you can input a lab value for example uh, 125 and for good surface finish you can select the one way option here and go to the I'm gonna click on the green button here so you can see that we have tool pad and okay let's look from the front you can see here the chamfer machine face yes like this master can calculate the coordinate so tool will follow the surface you don't need to do any calculation very simple and very fast like this so you can see that we only have the clamp milling not conventional milling so we to make sure we have a good surface finish all right and you can see it the transformation if you want to use the uh, zigzag chain here, but the zigzag normally do not uh, give a good surface finish because it have conventional direction. Okay, you can also change the gap setting uh, to direct. So just tool pad will be smoother. All right, like this. You can see that we can use small chamfer tool to machine the large chamfer area. 
quick uh, short cutting time. Okay, I will change the parameter. So I sample six thousand, and here is the twenty. So we don't uh, take too much time to machine the area. Yeah, you can see that. If you use a ball and mill, you need a lot of time to machine all of the area. And one advantage of the tool pad is uh, of this uh, method is you can select another tool with another angle to machine the uh, this face with uh, no need any calculation. Okay, I will create another tool for this. All right. I will, for example, another tool, and I will uh, edit the tool. For example, we have uh, 30 degree. Okay, and we will copy this operation, pass it, and select another tool. Oh, I just uh, forgot to rename the tool. I was tool pad. Okay, we have the tool is 30 degree and we change it to 30 degree. Alright, and this for this operation, I will reselect the dry surface. I click on the delete button to remove the old surface and select a new surface. Again, I'm gonna click on the activate solid selection, fix on this face. And selection. Okay. We check the flow layer data. We have the right cutting tool and right cutting angle. Okay, and we select the 30 degree chamfer mill here. We the same surface parameter. Assemble one way cutting. Alright. So you can see that master cam will automatically calculate the coordinates so we don't need to do any calculation that save a lot of time in cutting and calculating right okay very simple all right uh, for example if you want to uh, enlarge the chamber you can modify the stock uh, to live here for example I want to make it larger so I can input it uh, Negative value. Uh, example: ten tiles. Negative ten tile. So, okay. One first. Okay, I will do a simulation because I have a use a negative value so. We can select the solid here for the stock. All right, we will do the modif uh, the simulation. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. All right, for example, it is the the park after dropping operation. And I will use the chamfer tool to cut the chamfer. Sorry, my computer is uh, quite slow. Mm, too slow. I will do the speed. Running. Yeah, you can see that. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, you can see it save a lot of time in calculation and machine. Uh, it's just in theory in the um. Oh, what's up? 
uh, I choose the wrong tool, so <laughs> no, you can see that though. Man, what the hell is it? <laughs> oh, yes. It's just in the theory, in the fact, you have uh, some error in uh, the tool angle, so the surface may may not perfect, but in some case, you will, you can do this method for a time saving job. Oh, look at this! I need to double check it. Something wrong with this. Oh, I need to check what happened here. All right. Oh, I know what happened because you uh, you did front tool with the same tool number. Uh, so I forgot to change the tool number. So master cam, we use the one tool for the two operation. So uh, just change the tool number. <laughs> okay, number one. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just a lazy man, so I don't even uh, change the tool number <laughs> when I got the tool from the master cam library. So we need to. Uh, Simulate it again. Sorry for a uh, uh, trouble. <laughs> yes, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Just slow computer. Please patient. Okay, do it again. At first, the forty degree chamber. You can see is the first tool. That's the 40 degree chambering tool. The machine tree face. Reset the stop condition here. Operation chain. So with just one operation, you can machine three phase with different chamber distance. Okay. And next, we are gonna jump into the the last phase that is the 30 degree 30 degree chamber. Okay, do it. Yo, now let's get the right tool. You can see, you can make the chamber lagger by uh, modify the stop option. All right, very nice. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.